Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily for your daily updates on the go. We're going to start off with a tweet from Ben York. Just want to emphasize how legitimate and credible VeChain now is. Board of Directors for Trusted Blockchains in China with the big boys Alibaba, Huawei, Tencent, and the Shanghai Stock Exchange. VeChain must be doing something right. September 27, VeChain becomes part of the Board of Directors to the China Academy of Information and Communications Technology List of Trusted Blockchains, CAICT, a state-run initiative directly under China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, added VeChain to their list of trusted blockchain companies being listed at the top of the list of the Board of Directors. Gives VeChain an even bigger boost of credibility within China. The program focuses on building blockchain in a compliant manner while supporting China's influence in the global blockchain industry. This program includes massive companies such as China Mobile, Baidu, China Unicom, Huawei, Tencent, SAP, and the Shanghai Stock Exchange. So that's exciting news for VeChain. We're going to move along now to a little bit of Pundi X, the recap of AMA with Zach on July 3rd and Q2 report. Dear Pundians, thank you for participating in the AMA session with Pundi X co-founder and CEO Zach Chia. For those of you who may have missed it, the live recording of the AMA session held on July 3rd at 10 a.m. GMT plus 8, tackling Q2 progress and addressing questions and concerns by the community members can be viewed here. A side note that today's AMA video quality and setting was not ideal. We acknowledge the situation and will make improvement for our next AMA session. There was a lot of exciting things in here. I'll let you brew, browse through. I will again post all links in the description below. Feel free to leave any comments that you choose. Um, another quick thing from this update the transactions on XPOS for Q2 is 15.5 million in USD, which is close to 300% quarterly growth. The number of transactions is 29,367, which leads to a 11% growth QOQ. I wanted to end this with a quick clip of Chia in the Pundi shop using Pundi X. I will let the video play, so hopefully you are safely where you can watch. Today I'm looking for my lunch and also to get a good drink. So I'm here in a cafe area and let's try to see what we can find. Let's get some good food and a good drink. Now we are here at a very nice coffee place that supports our Xbox device and also our Xpass card. So let's buy ourselves some drinks using our Xpass card. Can I have a chocolate coffee? A chocolate coffee? Yeah. Chocolate coffee? So can I pay with my Pundi Xpass card? So what I'll do is that I'll just tap the device using the card. Here we have it. Just bought ourselves a chocolate coffee using the Puni X Pass card. Can I buy a big car using my X Pass card? Of course can. The Puni X Post device not only allows me to buy coffee, it also allows me to buy big coffee. And we can also buy Bitcoin using mobile application. This is Pundi Pundi, and let's try to buy a Bitcoin using the application. Pippi, can I buy a 0.1 Bitcoin? So what I'll do is that I'll use the QR code and let the Xbox device scan my QR code. So I will confirm the payment using my thumbprint. Okay, or 
gonna have it. I bought myself a Bitcoin. You can actually buy coffee or Bitcoin using an Expo device and our Express card or our application. All right, guys, I thought that was pretty cool, and I had to share that. That is exciting. All right, again, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only, to welcome and I hope you guys are having a great night. We will catch you in the next one.